Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Sports Performance with a little bit of Mindset Reset at the end. Um, Jazzy here, Program Manager with Exos at Autodesk, and we're really excited to get in this workout. So today is going to be our strength day. Um, we are going to need one set of dumbbells, at least one. Um, if you have two, grab two so you can have a heavier and a lighter one. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of different things today, but focusing on um, total body. And then we're gonna start off with um, sets of 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and then we'll drop down to 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and then we'll do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for the last round. And then while we're cooling down, we'll get into our mindset reset stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with um, demos here today. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with bent over rows, but we're gonna alternate our arms. So what we're gonna do is we're going to push our hips back like we're doing a Romanian deadlift. And then once we're there, we're gonna row towards the butt, back down, and then the other arm and back down. So we're gonna alternate one arm at a time, pulling up and back, really squeezing through the armpits. We're gonna feel that right along the side of our upper body. And then after that, we're gonna do nice slow squats. So we're gonna do three seconds down with a goblet squat so we can hold that dumbbell right underneath our chin here, just like that. It's good enough for you to see that. And with the feet hip width apart, we're gonna squat down one, two, three, power back up. So from this angle, going one, two, three, nice and slow, powering back up. And then after that, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a knee drive here. So this one you can either do with or without dumbbells, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Because um, sometimes this can be a harder exercise with balance. So if you don't want to use weight, feel free to drop those dumbbells. But we're going to do all on one leg and then all on the other. So you can pick whichever leg to start with. So you're going to step back into that reverse lunge and then step up and drive that knee up. So keeping that core nice and tight as we drive up and then really keeping that weight on the front foot. So we're gonna do all on one leg and then switch over and do the other leg. And then finally, we're gonna finish out with alternating overhead presses. So we're gonna have those dumbbells right here going up with one arm back down and then the other arm and back down. So that is gonna be our full circuit today. So we can go ahead and get started with our warm up. So we're gonna go ahead and start off on the ground. We're gonna open up our hips a little bit. We're just gonna do some regular quadruped rocking here or quad rocks. We're gonna on the hands and knees, knees a little bit wider than hip width here. And we're gonna go ahead and keep that core tight, back flat, rock back, glutes to heels. And then we're gonna push off. Let's go ahead and come up a little bit further onto those hands. And then we're gonna go ahead and rock back. We can hold at the bottom before coming back up. And let's go ahead and do two more of those, keeping that core nice and tight. We don't want our back moving if you see my pelvis is not moving at all my low back is staying nice and flat and where we're at let's go ahead and make this next one our last one and back to center all right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stand on up and we're just going to do some arm circles here to warm up our upper body so Starting with one arm at a time, we're gonna do a couple circles going backwards. So nice big circles here. We're gonna do about five going backwards. And let's go ahead and go forwards with those arm circles. Nice big circles here. Getting some good rotation through the shoulder joint. And let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. So nice big circles going backwards. Really warming up those rotator cuff muscles and going forwards. Great job, nice big circles. And last thing we're to do, it's gonna sound really funny, but I do this with my softball girls. So it really is a sports performance warm up. We're gonna go ahead and bring our arms nice and wide. So I call this hug the world and we're gonna hug ourselves. 
So we're gonna do that a couple of times. So hug the world, hug yourself, get everything nice and warmed up on the upper body for our presses that we're gonna be doing. And let's go and do one more. All right, I think we are ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna start off with our bent over dumbbell rows, one arm at a time, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest or transition time for round one, going here in three, two, one, and go. So grab those dumbbells, push those hips back like we're going into a Romanian deadlift, and one arm at a time, squeezing through the armpit. So it's actually pretty similar to what we did yesterday in total body strength, but of course a little bit different because we are not standing up in between. We're keeping, we're still though keeping our back flat. So we wanna make sure that we're not hunching over at the back. So by doing that, we're gonna bring our butt, pull it towards the belly button, lock it in, squeeze those shoulder blades like you're squeezing an orange and then push those hips back. Really squeeze through the armpits. We're pulling up with our arms through the back. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next up we have goblet squats. Three seconds down. So we only need one dumbbell for this. Three, two, one. So feet are gonna be hip width apart here, letting those knees track past our second toe and then powering on up. So we got one, two, three, push the ground away. So really forcefully push the ground through the heel big to little. So that's really gonna help us activate the muscles that we want to be activating here. And we should feel this in the glutes. We're gonna feel a little bit in the quads as well. And if you're sore in your hamstrings like I am today, you might feel a little bit there. Hopefully we're not all as sore as I feel right now. I feel like Friday's usually the most sore day for me. Three, two, one, all right. Next up, we're gonna grab both our dumbbells or none, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're doing reverse lunge. Three, two, one. So we can either hold our dumbbells or not. We're gonna do that reverse lunge and then drive that knee up. So really focus on using the core to pull the knee up, making sure we're not stepping back super far. So if we step back really far like this, we're gonna feel that in the back leg instead of the front leg, because it's gonna bring our body weight back. So we want to make sure we're keeping that weight forward so we can use our working leg is going to be that front leg. So right now I'm using, I'm stepping back with my right leg, which means that my left leg is the leg that I'm using to stand up. And no, I'm not using dumbbells today because as I just mentioned, my body's feeling it today. So I don't think it's in my best interest <laughs> to push myself. Three, two, one. And I definitely want, you know, everyone to feel that way too. If you're not feeling strong enough or you're sore, three, two, one at the leg. It's always important to listen to your body and what your body's telling you, whether that's that you need an extra rest day, you need a little bit more stretching, maybe you need more sleep. <laughs> It's really important to make sure that we aren't ignoring those signs from the body. And maybe it's just if we're a little sore, maybe that means we need to focus on our recovery a little bit more and really make sure we're not pushing ourselves if our body is not allowing us to do that. Keeping that weight in the front. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have alternating overhead presses. So we're going to grab both our dumbbells. Three, two, one. So dumbbells at the shoulders, one arm at a time, keeping those elbows up. So I want to make sure that we're not dipping the, the hands below the shoulders. That's going to put us at risk for an injury. And it's also going to be a lot harder because you have to move through the motion a lot longer. So if you're here, you're going to get better tension on the shoulders as well as not 
push your shoulder through a range of motion that your body is not really going to be happy about. Our shoulder joints are pretty loose. They're not very big. So we need to protect them as much as we can while we're working out. Three, two, one. All right. That is round one done. So next up, we have our bent over rows, one arm at a time. Three, two, one. So push those sits back. We are moving down this round. We're only doing 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest or transition time. So as we go through, ideally on paper, it's going to get easier because the time is going down. But that might not actually be reality. But we will be working for less time as we go through each round. Really squeezing through the armpits here. Great job. Keeping that back nice and flat. Three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of one dumbbell here. We have our goblet squats with the three seconds down. So we're getting ready, feet hip width apart. Three, two, one. So we're gonna count here. One, two, three, right back up. One, two, three. We wanna make sure it's one fluid motion. We don't wanna go one, two, three, cause that's gonna be a little bit too, much like movement, we want it to be nice fluid motion. So we're gonna carry it all together. So we're lowering all at one time, just nice and slow. That's how we're gonna get extra muscle engagement here today. We wanna make sure we're starting with the hips moving first. So the hips are gonna come down first and then our knees. Three, two, one, all right. We have reverse lunge into a knee drive all on one leg. And then we'll switch over to the other leg. Use those dumbbells. I really want you guys to use the dumbbells today. I'm just not. Three, two, one. So we're gonna step back and then exhale, use that core. We wanna make sure my hip is feeling a little snappy today. So really gotta focus on driving with the core instead of the hip flexors. That's gonna help us out a little bit here, especially since I know we tend to all sit through the day, which can kind of make our hip flexors a little bit tighter than we would like them to be, which sometimes makes that movement of the knee coming up a little bit more difficult because we're really pulling with the quads and the hip flexors versus with the core. So that's gonna help us out by focusing on that. Three, two, one. All right. We're gonna do that same thing on the other leg. And then we have our overhead presses. And then we're gonna go into round three. Three, two, one. So picking the other leg, stepping back, keeping that chest over the arch of the front foot. Just like with squats though, that knee is still coming right over that second toe. So inside part of the knee is coming out and then stepping up. So whether we're doing a squat, right, which is two-legged or a lunge, which is one-legged, if you notice my knees, my shins, and my chest are all doing the same thing no matter what the movement is. So really wanna make sure that we're keeping that same checklist that we go through for squats, for things like lunges, for split squats, anything like that, step ups, those are all the same shape. Three, two, one. All right. Last part here, we got our alternating overhead lunges. Oh my God. <laughs> overhead presses. Goodness. Three, two, one. I think that's how you know I need a little bit more caffeine this morning. My, uh, Words aren't coming out correctly. Whoops. Overhead presses, we're alternating one arm at a time. Really important here to make sure that we aren't arching the back as our arm is coming up. So just like I said with those um, bent over rows, we're to bring the butt towards the belly button. 
lock it in, act like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. And then we're gonna get rocking and rolling one arm at a time overhead. So our glutes are gonna be engaged, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, round two is done. Next up, we're starting off round three. We got our bent over rows one arm at a time. We are gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Three, two, one. So bring that butt to the belly button, lock it in, squeeze those shoulder blades. So we got that orange being crushed here, push those hips back one arm at a time. It does help to get that breathing down. So we exhale as we bring the elbows back. You really wanna drive with the elbows. So if you act like you have a plane of glass resting on your back, you're gonna break that glass with your elbow. So that's where the movement is being driven through the elbows, crush that glass. Three, two, one. All right, go ahead and drop the dumbbell. We have our three second squats here coming up next. And then we're gonna get a few more movements here. Three, two, one. So feet hip width apart. We're gonna go one, two, three. Keeping that same form the whole time. Chest is up. We're doing that same checklist too. Glutes to the belly button. Lock it in. Shoulder blades pulled down and back. So crush that orange or if you wanna crack the egg, whatever imagery works better for you. That's what we're doing here. Knees tracking past the second toe. I think we all know the checklist by now. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have reverse lunge to knee drive whichever leg you would like to start with. All right, we're getting ready here. Three, two, one. So we are going to step back, keep that core engaged. So you can either pretend like you're crushing an apple right here with your stomach, or like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach and you kind of tense up. That's what we want our core to feel like when we have it engaged. And that's how we're gonna drive that knee through the core. This one's great also for explosiveness. It's really, we got that plane of glass at our hips. We're breaking it with that knee. Three, two, one. All right. We're gonna do that same thing on the other leg. And then we have overhead presses. And then we're gonna cool down. We'll get into our mindset reset. We're gonna be nice and relaxed going into the rest of this wonderful Friday. Three, two, one. So stepping back with that other leg, driving that knee up. Really let that knee come over that second toe. Pushing through the ground, whole foot. It's gonna help us engage those glutes by pressing through the heel. Great job. Great way to start off the day, getting a nice workout in, getting that movement in. We're getting 1% better today than we were yesterday. Three, two, one. All right. Last movement of the morning. I would say of the day, but hopefully we're gonna get out for a walk later or maybe a bike ride, or maybe we're going to Luis's class at 12 today. Three, two, one, hands above the shoulders. One arm at a time, keep that core engaged. Make sure we're breathing. Today is our strength day, right? So it's day four week four of phase two, which means next week is gonna start phase three. So we're gonna have a whole new set of workouts in this class. 
It's gonna be really fun. We're still gonna stick with our four days. We got lateral, rotational, cardio, and strength. So that part will still be the same, but all of our movements are gonna change. Three, two, one, and we are done for the morning. Nice job, you all. Great job, way to push it, way to come in, work hard, love that. We're gonna go ahead and start into our cool down. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way onto the ground on our backs. And we're gonna stretch out our piriformis muscle first, so that tiny muscle right under the glutes. We worked it a little bit today. So it's gonna also help us just open things up in the fronts of our hips, in our low back and in our hamstrings. So we're gonna be on our back whenever we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left knee. And if that feels like a good tension for you, feel free to stay there. If you need a little more tension, go ahead and interlace your fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin. We're gonna start to pull that knee towards the chest. And while we're here, we're gonna start to really slow down our breath. So we're gonna do nice, Big inhales in through the nose. And we're gonna sigh away that tension through the mouth. We're gonna make those exhales a little longer than the inhales. And while we're doing that, we're just gonna start to take inventory of our bodies here. Really get our mind in tune with our body. Maybe we're noticing parts that are a little bit tight. And if maybe we're feeling we're a little tight today, really breathe into that tension and imagine your muscles just relaxing with each exhale. And let's go ahead and do one more deep breath. So we're gonna do a nice big inhale in through the nose. And a long, slow exhale through the mouth. And once we've completed that breath, go ahead and gently bring that foot back to the ground. Then we can place our right foot on the ground and we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So left ankle above the right knee. And if that feels like a good tension for you, go ahead and stay there. If you need a little more attention, go ahead and interlace those fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin. Ooh. And go ahead and pull that knee towards the chest. We're still taking inventory. So this is maybe where you notice that one side is tighter than the other. For me, this side is very tight today. This is not feeling so hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those nice big deep inhales. And then we're gonna sigh away that tension, relax into the stretch. So our mind right now is focusing on areas of the body that feel tight or maybe are sore. We're just gonna breathe into those areas. We're imagining our muscles loosen with each exhale. So really picture those areas, picture them relaxing. The mind to body connection is very strong and our minds are way more powerful than we think. So if we are really feeling tight or maybe we're just feeling low energy, we're feeling tired, a lot of that can be changed with a little bit of a different mindset. So we're just gonna imagine ourselves relaxing Focusing on the breath. And 
And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale. One long, slow exhale. And after we're done with that exhale, we can gently bring our feet to the ground. And from here, we're going to, you may have already guessed this, but we all know I like to do a little bit more resetting of the mind if we're in some child's pose. So let's go ahead, make our way onto our hands and our knees. Definitely take your time. We were on our backs for a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take those knees a little bit wider than hip width. We're going to sink those hips back, walk those hands forward, forehead, chin, or cheek to the ground. And from here, we are doing the same breathing patterns. We're breathing in through the nose, nice and deep. You want to feel the belly expand, feel the low back expand. And then we're going to exhale nice and slow, longer exhales than our inhales through the mouth really relaxing further into the ground. And as we're doing this, I want us to focus on the breath, bring awareness to your, your mind, your body. How does the air feel going in? And how does the air feel when you breathe out as well? Just bringing a little bit of awareness into your body right now, into your breath, into your lungs. And as we are start to being more aware, we can maybe notice how the ground feels on our body. We already focused on how we are feeling internally, but let's just bring some more awareness to the things surrounding us. Now that we are more aware of what's going on around us, how our body feels, go ahead and we're going to start the day on a really positive note and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of gratitude starting off the day with gratitude can kind of set our tone for the day we're going to get a little bit more positive energy flowing through our mind flowing to other people we can really bring a, a better version of ourselves when we start the day with gratitude so let's go ahead and think of three things that you're really grateful for today and they could be anything, whether you're grateful for warm cups of coffee, <laughs> you're grateful for watching the sunrise on certain days, like whatever you're grateful for. I want you to think of just three things that you're grateful for. Once we have a few things we're grateful for, I now want us to think of one person that we're grateful for, and I want us to think about them, and I want us to think about sending positive energy to them for today, and I want us to focus, and I want you to all tell them too, obviously in your mind, why you're grateful for them, that you appreciate them. And from here, we're going to do one more deep breath while we're thinking about it. So we're doing one big inhale. We're going to slowly exhale. And whenever you're ready, you can either come out of child's pose. You can stay laying on the ground, however you'd like to end 
the class, but that is going to be all the time I have for you all this morning. So thank you all so much for joining me. I love starting my days off, especially Fridays. Um, get sent a good tone to the day with y'all in this class. So great job, everyone. Um, we do have one more class today. We got Functional Fitness Friday and Guided Breathing with Luis today at 12. So definitely join him there if you want to get some more movement in. Um, but other than that, we'll see you again next week with all of our other live classes. And we got our, our next program coming up. We're going to be announcing that next week. So stay tuned for those details and um, great job today and have a wonderful week.